Well, what is going on ladies and gentlemen, my name is Nikolai Espresso and welcome back to another video here today on the channel. A long while back, we did a series that you guys absolutely loved and that really blew up on the channel, that being the five things that changed since the Black Ops 3 beta. And the main purpose of that series was to take a look at where we came from to where we were at the point in time of those videos going live in Black Ops 3. And we since did them in Infinite Warfare, Modern Warfare Mastered, all that good stuff. But Black Ops 3 was really the catalyst for that series and it was something that I've always loved taking a look back at things that were in the past and showcasing some stuff that a lot of you guys may not have never seen. And that brings me to today in this video because it's not a five things that changed episode, but instead we're gonna showcase one example of the earliest known imagery from Black Ops 3, some stuff that I almost guarantee you, you've never seen before, and it's something that is actually available for everybody to see in game. If you were to head over to the map Gauntlet on Black Ops 3, a part of the first map pack, Awakening, for the DLC content season of Black Ops 3, this map is home to a, a lot of different little Easter eggs, little teasers, things like that, and just some fun facts. A long while back, we had what a lot of people thought was a specialist weapon, that being a sniper in one of the computer images. We had an empty specialist stall, which a lot of people then attributed to the 10th specialist, which it kind of then played into it, but this one is a little bit different. All those were on the other side of the map, but this one is a little bit more hidden off into where not many people necessarily go. Right by the city alleyway, you have the option to jump inside a little bit of a stall, and there's a whole computer setup there with multiple monitors, multiple different screens, and on one of those, if you take a look at the top left monitors, you'll see that there is one that has what looks to be like a still image from gameplay from the very game you're playing, Black Ops 3. Now it is quite tough to actually take a look at this image via sniper scope or just regular weapon aiming down sight, but on screen right now is the full image in a little bit better of clarity, and as you can tell, it is in fact a screenshot from Black Ops 3, but this then goes all the way back to roughly September and October of 2014. Now, if those dates stand, this is in fact the earliest screenshots really out there of Black Ops 3. Black Ops 3 was a little bit different in terms of how content came out because it was something that was debuted very early on. We had multiplayer stuff teased in April and May, which is something that never really happens. That usually is saved until August, but along with that time in which we had stuff, there was even gameplay in the earlier months, say May and June from the big YouTubers that went out and captured pre-alpha gameplay, but this predates all of that, which is just super cool to look at, I think, where we can see how much of this is maybe placeholders, how much of this truly has changed, and therefore, it gives us a little peek into a window of Black Ops 3 that we have never known. And from this, you can see a lot of different stuff here, a lot of different changes, such as the faction icon, the HUD is completely redesigned, or rather different, especially in terms of the ammo count, that's one of the things that I first initially gravitated towards. The minimap is different, you can see the early workings of the map, evac that we showcased up on the channel a couple of times before but still see it once again here the red dot sight on the xr2 is actually the one from black ops 2 which is again probably just a placeholder at this point but it's still very cool to look at and i think that taking a look at all these different things and seeing just how far they have come since then to now is just absolutely super cool and serve as a great looking glass as to something that we have maybe never seen in Black Ops 3 for the entirety of its lifespan and then some. But all in all, that is where we're gonna wrap up. I think I just wanted to showcase this here for you guys because I came across this and I thought it was absolutely awesome especially from my perspective, because I love to look at these kind of things where we see the early development of the game and see where it's come since then. So hopefully you guys did enjoy. Leave your thoughts down there in the comment section down below. Have you guys come across this image? Have you guys seen it for yourselves? And if so, what do you guys think of it? And even if not, what do you guys think of where we've come since this time period of Black Ops 3? Love to hear your thoughts down there in the comment section down below. If you guys did like the video though, make sure you drop a like down below. And if you guys are new to the channel, make sure you guys subscribe to stay up to date with everything we have here regarding Infinite Warfare, Black Ops 3, Modern Warfare Mastered, and COD 2017, and we'll keep you updated with everything here regarding all those. If you guys want to follow me over on Twitter, finally, that is the best place to get connected to me here outside of YouTube. Practically live on Twitter, so if you guys want to strike up a conversation, ask me a question, whatever it may be, link is down there in the description below if you guys want to toss a follow. But thank you dudes so much for watching. Hopefully you guys are having a great day. I'll see you guys later. My name is Nicolai Espresso. Take care and peace.